Hey, I want to show you where a pal merchant is, and this is where you can buy new pals and then sell some of the ones that you have for gold and all that. It's so freaking cool, and it's actually really early on in your pal world playthrough. I think this is just a great tip, great thing to have. Uh, if you're looking for maybe an overpowered pal or a new pal or something like that, I happen to get this one called Univolt here, which is absolutely, like, just looks so freaking cool, and you can even ride it uh, later on. Here, I'll even show you guys, guys what it looks like. So you can get it from this vendor. It was pretty expensive, but... You get gold pretty quickly, and like I said, you can sell some pals. So I'll show you guys where this is at. Um, so right over here, this is where you start out, uh, the Plateau of Beginnings. It's going to be right along this path here. You can come along the beach, climb up, and go to this small settlement. Or you can go along this path here, or all the way around if you want to. But there's some high-level stuff over here. Uh, so I really recommend coming along this way if you're early on in the game. Just climbing up here and coming right up here. So it's called Small Settlement. There's a fast travel point. Once you get here, there'll be a guard, uh, an officer here. Don't don't attack him. He will attack you. Um, don't ask me how I know. You come over here, this pal merchant. He's going to say he's got some great pals in stock. And this will change every day, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. Uh, mine has changed multiple times. So right now, he's got Iik, the deer. Uh, he's got three of these, um, and then he's got, you know, a rush bore, a cativa, so you could be looking for something specific. But if you notice here, he's got three of the same ones, but you can see on the bottom right of my screen, it says passive skills. This one's unstable. This one's an artisan. Uh, this one's waterproof. So there's some different skills that they have here, which is really freaking cool. And they can also be different levels. So this one's more expensive for 6,000 level 5. This one's level 1, less expensive, really cool. Also, the cell here, uh, this is awesome. This is a great way to earn gold if you don't need it or if you have same of the, the same pals. You could go and farm certain pals that are worth a lot of money like uh, Tombats, I think, are worth quite a bit. Yeah, look at this. I have a level 15 Tombat right now. It sells for 700 gold uh, for that, uh, it, which is pretty insane. So keep an eye for this. You can sell pals here. So, you know, let's sell, let's sell one of my chickpeas here. You can sell. You can see here, sell total, gold, and, and then you can select that. And then you can buy, which is so freaking sweet. So this is a great way to get like new pals that you're looking for. Uh, cool ones like this, this Univolt, which is like probably one of my favorites so far. I got him really early on. And, it, and there's also a little wandering merchant down here that you can buy some other stuff too. Uh, so keep an eye out for this. He can have some things, but he has some schematics for hats, pal spheres, seeds, medical supplies. So anything that you might need there, uh, which is pretty cool. But there's other there's there's also just let you guys know too there's more pal merchants scattered throughout the world so keep an eye out for that go exploring I had a buddy find one in a cave a little bit further on from from here in this location uh, but this is the best one early on I hope you guys enjoy this video and hope you guys get some good pals from it.